Johannesburg, this is The Real Economy Report. Unilever has opened its first ice cream factory in Africa at the Lord's View Industrial Park in Midrand, making it one of 40 Unilever ice cream factories across the world. Tracy Hancock has the story. The about 600 million development saw the Department of Trade and Industry fork out 342 million. Speaking at the opening, Trade and Industry Minister Dr. Rob Davies emphasized the importance of South Africa as well as Africa being more than a producer and an exporter of finished products. And it's for that reason that we've been talking for a long time about moving up the value chain, about industrializing the country, about seeking uh, uh, industrial development in a number of ways and a number of value chains, but including this one, agro-processing, which is very, very important. So a factory like this draws in suppliers from the agricultural sector. One of the focus areas, because we think it is the quickest delivery of jobs in this country, is the agriculture and agro-processing value chain. And we can see that an agro-processing project like this can draw in demand from agriculture, in this case uh, from dairy. Unilever South Africa's VP of Manufacturing, Sandeep Desai, explained that the idea for Project South Pole, now the Lord's View Ice Cream Factory, was born in 2011. Unilever's factory will not only produce Ola products, such as Rich and Creamy, Cornetto, Gino Ginelli, Paddle Pop and Frutari, but also the most sophisticated ice cream in Unilever's portfolio, Magnum. This development complements additional capacity that is being built in Turkey, China, and all elements around the world to deliver bigger and better innovations for Unilever and its customers and consumers. The investment in this state-of-the-art ice cream factory was about 600 million rand and will increase Unilever's capacity of growth to deliver high-quality service utilizing the latest green technology to better enable Unilever to deliver on its sustainable living plan. As such, the factory uses smart green technology to harvest rainwater while recovering and reusing the water used in the production process. It will also apply a zero waste to landfill policy and feature energy efficient technology. Sustainability and protection of the environment was absolutely key for Unilever, highlighted the company's executive VP of Africa, Bruno Witfoot, who emphasized Unilever's confidence in South Africa and Africa's growth potential by investing 4 billion rand in new and refurbished manufacturing facilities in the country. The point of this investment is to ensure that we can sustain the development and the growth of our ice cream business here in Africa. We have a leadership position, but we believe that when you're a leader, there's still always opportunity to grow until you get the 100% magic market share figure, which rarely happens anyhow, but there's a lot of opportunity for us to grow. But what is important is that this growth needs to be inclusive with the people living in South Africa. And through the inauguration of this factory today, we can say that we have had 150 workers working on the construction of the site. But more so, we have now a workforce of 150 skilled and trained people from South Africa working every day on the site. To that, you can add another 50 people working on the site. We're using contractors for a different set of services. What is important also, and the specificity of the ice cream business, is we're selling a lot of ice creams on the streets through a network of concessionaires. And I'm very happy to announce today that by the end of this year, we would have had another 1,000 jobs in South Africa, taking our vendor numbers from 1,300 to 2,300 by the end of December. British High Commissioner to South Africa, Judith McGregor, said ice cream was a metaphor for social and economic development in South Africa, highlighting the UK's commitment to the country. I am indeed absolutely delighted as British High Commissioner for a further evidence of British investment in South Africa, keeping our record as the biggest single investor in South Africa, and one that I am determined with Mr Davies to continue and to take forward. Other news making headlines this week. France-based logistics company ID Logistics Local Fresh Food Division IDL Fresh launched its new 15,300 square meter distribution center in Boxburg earlier this month. In this warehouse, the, we have uh, about 5,000 pallet spaces in chilled and about 7,000 pallet spaces in ambient. So two sections separated from each other. 
the decision actually to build the warehouse from fresh came uh, from from scratch came from uh, from a study of uh, retrofitting current ambient warehousing into chilled or going uh, going new which finally was a decision made and once the decision was made in September 2014 then selection of lands uh, developers uh, was uh, was done and from there the design of the building uh, took about two months two to three months and then the actual uh, start of the building uh, was in November for a handover and final key exchange uh, that happened in April 2015. That's Kuma Media's Real Economy Report. Join us again next week for more news and insights into South Africa's real economy.